Hi everyone, this is JJ with Merritt Plumbing in Sarasota, Florida. Just doing a quick video today about um, anode rods on your water heaters. So every water heater has something that's called an anode rod. This is the one out of this heater right here. So what an anode rod is, is it, it's a sacrificial rod that is designed so that the water will attack this rod and break it down before attacking the steel tank and degrading your water heater tank. So it helps extend the life of your water heater. Um, so this one, you can see it's all corroded. This is a year old. Now it is supposed to corrode and break down. That's the point. But if you have a water softener, so this customer has a whole house water filter and a water softener. In most water heaters, um, this one is a ream. Ream comes with a magnesium anode rod. So what your water softener does is the water softener removes calcium and magnesium from the water. So water is always trying to maintain homeostasis and come back into balance. So when you remove the, cal the calcium and magnesium from a water softener, as soon as the water comes back into contact with anything containing magnesium, it wants to get that magnesium back. It wants to balance itself back out. It wants the minerals back. So when the water comes in contact with this magnesium anode rod, it will strip it and break it down really quickly. Um, I've seen them in as quickly as one to two years strip this rod down to nothing. Inside the center of this rod, there's a real thin rod, basically almost like a coat hanger wire. And when this all depletes and you can only see a few inches of that coat hanger type wire in there, you know the anode rod should be replaced. Um, I was on a phone call about a year ago with A.O. Smith Technical Support and they said the number one cause of premature failure on a water heater that they have seen is when people have a water softener and they fail to replace the factory magnesium rod and update it with an aluminum anode rod. Now one of the other things that can happen is there can be a bacteria in the water called sulfur reducing bacteria. And that uh, bacteria will feed off the magnesium anode rod and produce a sulfur smell as a byproduct. So sometimes if you have a water softener and you start noticing you are getting a sulfur smell, that's a sign that you need to replace the magnesium anode rod with aluminum. And in some cases, temporarily, you may need to increase the temperature of the water heater to 140 degrees to kill off that sulfur bacteria. Um, this water heater is only a year old. So what I'm doing is taking out the factory magnesium anode rod and replacing it with an aluminum one. Uh, I will try my best to remember to, in the notes and the description of the video, I'll send a link to a white paper that uh, American Water Heaters released some time ago that documents and just explains further on how um, a water softener, if you don't replace the magnesium anode rod, can actually lead to premature tank failure on your water heater. And it can actually slightly reduce the lifespan of a water heater anyways, just because um, due to the nature of the water softener stripping minerals from the water, it does lower the pH of the water some, so it does make the water a little bit more acidic. Um, now, sometimes you can replace the anode rod yourself, although it is you know, pretty tough to do. The, on the Rheem water heaters, they have a little plastic cover here. So you have to take that off and break up the insulation that's covering the access with a screwdriver and then I usually just vacuum it out so it doesn't go down the water heater. On top of the water heater there is a hex head on it. Let me go double check what our socket size is. I believe it's a 1 and a 16th socket. Mine's worn off but I believe that's it. what it is is a 1 and 16th inch socket. Now the tricky thing is they get put in very tight at the factory. So you're most likely not just gonna get that off with a standard ratchet. You're gonna need to go and get yourself a heavy duty impact wrench. That's what I use. They come out within a matter of seconds with that. And then you're just gonna want on the new one, put some Teflon tape or pipe thread compound on there, put it back into the top, and then I just screw it in hand tight with a ratchet. I don't like to over tighten it with the uh, impact wrench. And then that'll uh, help you get the most amount of life you can out of your water heater. 
Obviously, before you go and pull the anode rod out of the top of the water heater, you wanna hook up a garden hose, a pump if you have it, and you don't even have to drain the water all the way out. You just wanna drain some down enough that when you remove the anode rod from the top of the water heater, that you're not having water come flying out at you everywhere. Uh, it, you just need to drain it down a little bit. Plus, if you're trying to get it out without using an impact wrench, you want a bunch of water in that tank because you want that tank weighed down. So if you're trying to use a ratchet to get it out, you're not just twisting the whole tank around because that will happen, especially if it's on plastic pipe. You can actually snap that plastic pipe if you start cranking on the water heater too hard with a ratchet. So I hope you found that video helpful. That's just another helpful tip about uh, anode rods on your water heater and how they react with a water softener.